A major shift in the fleet management strategy of huge airlines is underway, involving two aircraft manufacturers, Boeing and Airbus. As the battle in the skies intensifies, three of the world's most prestigious airlines, Emirates, Qantas, and KLM, have chosen to align with the same side, ready to make significant moves that will impact their future operations. But what changes are they making in their strategies? And how will this affect the aviation industry? Let's delve deeper. KLM has in recent years been shifting its fleet largely to Airbus aircraft. The airline's bold decision to transition from Boeing to Airbus is not just an isolated move, but a reflection of broader trends within the global aviation industry. The operational advantages of the Airbus A321, XLR, and A22300 played a pivotal role in their selection, offering improved fuel efficiency that reduces airlines' costs and addresses the growing demand for environmentally friendly aviation solutions. A major driving factor behind this shift is sustainability. Like many global carriers, they are committed to reducing its carbon emissions. Airbus has emerged as a leader in developing cleaner, quieter aircraft, with the A321XLR boasting up to 30% better fuel efficiency than previous generations, significantly lowering emissions. Airbus is an attractive choice for airlines striving to meet stringent environmental regulations. KLM also emphasized environmental performance as a primary reason for its shift to Airbus, closely mirroring the rationale given by Qantas for its own transition. But what is driving KLM's strategic shift in its fleet? KLM's decision to prioritize Airbus over Boeing stems from a need for quieter, more cost-effective, and fuel-efficient aircraft. The airline's focus on reducing noise pollution at airports and improving overall operational efficiency aligns perfectly with what Airbus has to offer. The combination of the extended range of the XLR and its impressive fuel efficiency makes it the ideal choice for long-haul flights while keeping operating costs low a critical factor for airlines seeking to maximize profitability while transitioning to more sustainable practices. Meanwhile, Emirates is also reevaluating its fleet's future, weighing the options between Boeing and Airbus. Although the airline has long relied on Boeing for its wide-body aircraft, particularly the 777 and 787 models, Airbus may play an increasingly significant role in Emirates' fleet going forward. KLM's decision positions the airline as a pioneering leader in environmental sustainability, a crucial factor as consumers increasingly prioritize brands that demonstrate a genuine commitment to sustainability. Industry reactions have been diverse, yet revealing. While some view this airline's move as a bold step toward modernization, others see it as a harbinger of larger shifts in supplier loyalty. KLM's transition from Boeing to Airbus is more than just an aircraft change. It represents a significant strategic pivot with the potential to influence other airlines contemplating similar moves. In recent years, airlines have placed greater emphasis on sustainability and operational efficiency, particularly as climate change has emerged as a global urgency. Not only the XLR, KLM paid attention to A350. Its commitment to the Airbus A350 aligns with these trends, offering lower fuel consumption and improved efficiency compared to older models. According to a report from the International Air Transport Association, IATA, the A350 is approximately 25% more fuel efficient than the aircraft it replaces, making it an appealing choice for airlines focused on reducing their carbon footprint. This shift epitomizes the growing emphasis on environmental responsibility within the aviation industry. Similarly, Qantas has also taken significant steps towards sustainability with its recent decision to switch from Boeing to Airbus. For over six decades, Qantas has been come with Boeing, operating its aircraft since 1959. At one point, the Australian airline was the only airline in the world to operate a fleet entirely composed of Boeing 747 AS-US, solidifying a profound and historic relationship with the American aircraft manufacturer. However, this long-standing alliance is now undergoing a dramatic shift, marking a turning point for Australia's national carrier. In December 2021, Qantas announced that Airbus would be its preferred supplier for its domestic fleet, opting for the A321 XLR and A22300 models over Boeing's offerings. This commitment includes an order for 20 XLR and 20 A22300S, with an option for an additional 94 aircraft in the future. 
This decision caused Airbus's stock to surge by 3% in early trading, signaling a significant win for the European manufacturer in a market long dominated by Boeing. Deliveries of these aircraft are expected to begin in mid-2023 and continue throughout the next decade, gradually replacing an aging fleet that includes 75 Boeing 737s and 27 717. This bold move underscores Qantas's forward-thinking approach to modernization, sustainability, and operational efficiency in an ever-evolving aviation landscape. The shift in the airline's fleet strategy goes beyond modernizing its aircraft. It reflects a bold commitment to enhancing operational efficiency and sustainability. Qantas former CEO Alan Joyce emphasized the environmental benefits, stating that the new aircraft would not only reduce the airline's carbon emissions, but also deliver significant fuel savings. This move is a clear indication of its confidence in the future, especially as they lock in prices in anticipation of the expected surge in demand for next-generation narrow-body aircraft. The Airbus planes will play a pivotal role in helping Qantas meet its long-term sustainability goals, while simultaneously boosting operational efficiency in an increasingly competitive aviation landscape. For Boeing, this decision marks a significant shift in loyalty from one of its iconic customers. While Boeing will continue to supply the Dreamliner to Qantas, losing the domestic fleet contract is a severe blow to its symbolic standing in the industry. The initial reactions from aviation professionals were filled with curiosity, signaling the potential ripple effects this move could have on other airlines. This announcement not only raises questions about the airline's future fleet strategy, but also hints at broader changes in the industry's dynamics. The demand for more fuel-efficient aircraft in the post-pandemic world is rapidly becoming a strategic necessity for airlines worldwide. As competition intensifies and consumer demand for sustainable travel grows, many airlines are being forced to reevaluate their aircraft choices. The shift from Boeing to Airbus is not just a technical decision, but a reflection of the broader trends shaping the aviation industry. Airlines like Qantas and KLM are seeking operational advantages, and Airbus is providing the technology to meet those needs. With increasingly stringent environmental regulations and fluctuating fuel costs, airlines are searching for solutions that balance cost efficiency with sustainability, and Airbus with its advanced designs and focus on green technology, seems to be offering exactly that. Intriguingly, it seems that Emirates is also re-evaluating its future fleet, with industry experts speculating that the airline may follow in the footsteps of KLM and Qantas by shifting toward Airbus. As a major player in the aviation industry, any pivot by Emirates would send a powerful signal about the future of aircraft procurement. Growing pressure from passengers and regulators demanding environmentally conscious practices adds urgency to this shift, industry where public perception can significantly influence profitability. All of this begs a question, is Boeing losing its position on the aviation industry? The change of these three major airlines to rival aircraft manufacturers serves as a stark warning to Boeing. What does this mean? KLM's move to Airbus aircraft is not just a fleet change, it sends ripples across the global aviation industry. As one of the oldest airlines in the world, the airline's decision is being closely watched by others and could alter market dynamics and supplier relationships and even drive technological advancements within the industry. This choice reflects a growing trend in aviation, where airlines prioritize fuel efficiency, operational flexibility, and sustainability. As global carriers feel increasing pressure to reduce their carbon footprint, KLM's transition to Airbus could inspire other airlines to reevaluate their fleet strategies. Reports indicate that airlines are increasingly seeking aircraft with longer ranges and lower operating costs, which could spark significant innovations benefiting the entire aviation industry. This shift also has a broader impact on the aerospace manufacturing landscape. Moreover, decisions by Qantas, Emirates and KLM highlight the growing importance of sustainability in the supply chain as airlines diversify their fleets. With Airbus production capacity surpassing Boeing's, Airbus holds a strategic advantage. Analysts suggest this may change how airlines manage their fleets, encouraging more diverse orders to reduce reliance on a single manufacturer. Besides, according to IATA, airlines are expected to boost investments in fuel-efficient, eco-friendly aircraft aligning with the industry's goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. KLM's purchasing shift could inspire others to prioritize green solutions. The competition between Boeing and Airbus is set to intensify. 
with Boeing ramping up efforts to win back customers through improvements to existing models and the development of next-gen sustainable aircraft. In the context of European aviation, the airline's decision could further solidify partnerships within the Air France KLM Group, fostering streamlined operations and shared resources between the airlines. This collaborative model may encourage other airline groups to consolidate their procurement decisions, leading to improved pricing and operational efficiency across networks. Ultimately, as these airlines transition to their new fleets, the impact could extend to the passenger experience. For instance, the introduction of the Airbus A350 may bring enhanced comfort, advanced technology, and superior service to travelers. As airlines increasingly compete on customer experience, this shift could influence how others approach fleet renewal. The adoption of the Airbus A350 by these carriers marks a pivotal moment in aviation, emphasizing sustainability, innovation, and competitive momentum. As the industry watches closely, the question remains whether this bold move will inspire others and redefine the future of air travel. One thing is certain, change is coming where efficiency and environmental responsibility will take center stage. This move will undoubtedly have a profound impact on Boeing. Once the dominant supplier to many national carriers, Boeing now faces the looming threat of losing its long-standing market supremacy as rivals like Airbus innovate and respond more effectively to shifting market demands. Analysts within Boeing have acknowledged the urgent need to reassess their strategies to retain key customers, with KLM's decision signaling a potential reevaluation of partnerships across the industry. With Qantas and KLM at the forefront of this shift, what does this mean for Boeing's future contracts with these major players? The landscape of global aviation is changing, and Boeing must adapt swiftly if it hopes to retain its competitive edge in this rapidly evolving market. So what is Boeing's response? One of Boeing's trump cards could be the highly anticipated 777X series. The 777-9 in particular is designed for high capacity and fuel efficiency, positioning it as a direct competitor to Airbus's A350. With KLM retiring its 747 Natsurazu US, the airline might be seeking a similar aircraft to fill the void. The Dash 9's fuel efficiency, composite wings, and long-range capabilities could allow the airline to operate fewer flights while carrying more passengers, making it an appealing choice as airport parking constraints tighten. This aircraft could be a game changer, not just for the National Airline of the Netherlands, but for airlines like Qantas, which are in search of modern, efficient planes to support their growth strategies. Boeing is also aware that the future of aviation must be green. Their eco-demonstrator program, focusing on emission reductions and green technologies like hydrogen fuel and sustainable aviation fuel, is central to their strategy. Furthermore, Boeing is not just innovating gradually, it's leading the way. Their research into zero emission technologies, including electric and hybrid aircraft as well as advances in autonomous flight, could redefine the aviation industry in the decades ahead. Airlines like KLM and Emirates, which have long championed innovation, may find Boeing's future models, promising higher efficiency and lower costs, compelling enough to rekindle partnerships. Despite the early challenges faced by the 737 MAX, Boeing's resilience proved successful, with the aircraft returning to service to demonstrate its safety and efficiency. KLM, reliant on Boeing 737 for European routes, may continue to find value in the updated MAX models. Likewise, Qantas, while shifting its strategy, still operates Boeing aircraft in its narrow-body fleet and may see reasons to maintain a diversified fleet. The deep partnerships Boeing has cultivated with airlines like KLM, Qantas, and Emirates over decades cannot be overlooked. While Airbus may dominate recent headlines, the strong foundation of trust and collaboration with Boeing ensures that their role in these airlines' future plans is far from over. What do you think about this shift in the major airlines? In contrast, is there a switch back from Airbus to Boeing? Leave a comment below. Thanks, and stay safe.